So just a little update on my Shantung maple here from before. I dug it up, got it in the pot. I kept as much of the native soil around it as I could, probably within a few inches. And then I filled the rest in with some good soil and mixed with bark and um, perlite, a little bit of sand and some pea gravel. As you can see, I cut it way back. So it's a little nerve wracking to do that. There's the, the pile of limbs there. And just for giggles, I took a couple of the bigger shoots and I chipped off a piece at the end. The chances of this taking are pretty slim, but I have had luck with it. It has worked for me in the past, but this time of year, it's end of August. I don't think that the uh, that the chances of it working are, are very good, but basically what I did is I just did that to the end, at the bottom I mean, and then I chipped off just a little bit more, took a little more bark off um, just to give it a better chance of rooting. Uh, so, you know, we'll see. And I defoliated probably half the leaves. I mean, I'm no expert at it. I'm just using some common sense a little bit just to, uh, since there's no established root system, um, it's not going to be able to support all the leaves. In fact, I might even defoliate it an additional 50%. So take it down to about 25% of what it started as. Um, so... Anyways, that's the, the clippings, and this is the actual tree itself. Um, I'm not sure what I'm even going to really do with it yet as far as styling goes. Sorry about the background here. I can't get a good background. But you can see the die back from a few years ago. I think I posted uh, on YouTube when I dug this up last time, and it died way back. So, uh, unfortunately, that was the one going straight up. So, um this will end up being the main trunk here. And uh, then I've got a couple options here. I've got this main branch and then one behind it right there. So got options. I'm not, you know, sure what to do with it yet, but that's where we're at. So uh, just wanted to post a little update. Thanks.